I found a creative way to make custom GPTs. And I'm gonna show you how in this video. So I recently made a custom GPT. I'm really proud of this one. It works exactly as expected and it's called the Video Metadata AI. And I specifically made it to help with my YouTube video uploads. It was taking a lot of time to write the titles, descriptions, hashtags, regular tags. For those of you that have a YouTube channel, it's a long process. It's not just making the video. You got all this other stuff that comes along with it. So I made a very simple custom GPT. If you're interested, I'm going to drop a link in the description below. But let's walk through a quick example of how this works. I'm going to show you how awesome this custom GPT is. It works exactly as expected. All right, here's some behind the scenes stuff. I'm just going to go to one of my videos and let's pick this one. I'm going to click edit. I'm going to go into the subtitles and I'm going to grab the video transcript. Because chat GPT can't watch videos, it can read text. And everything I say in that video is in the video transcript. And we know that previously there's no limit. We tested this. There doesn't seem to be a small limit on your inputs. I think I tested with over 10,000 tokens and the input went through. Before it was like 2,000 tokens. So I'm just going to paste my whole video transcript in there. That's going to give ChatGPT or specifically this video metadata AI an idea of what this video is about. And then watch the magic. All right, let's scroll down. First, it's going to summarize. So this is what this video is about in a paragraph. Then it's going to write some related hashtags, 15 related hashtags. Then it's going to create an engaging video title. And then it's going to give me the video tags. All of that in under 30 seconds from a video transcript. Look how succinct this is. Look how clear and concise. I love this GPT. It works like a charm super fast. Okay, now I'm going to go to the explore page and let's create a new GPT and I'll show you what the problem is. This is what I was doing before. So they want you to create GPTs by using their GPT builder. You use natural language, you just talk to it and it's going to write the prompts for you. For example, let's try to make the same custom GPT again. I'm going to go make me a GPT. Let's zoom in here that takes a video transcript, then writes a summary, gives 15 relevant hashtags, writes a video title based on the summary, then gives you a list of 25 tags. Let's hit enter it, send that in. And what you all are familiar with, it's gonna update the GPT in the background and create the prompt for you. Okay, first it gives it the name Video Content Optimizer. Yep, that's fine. And it's going to make a profile picture, but I can already see what's going on in the back end here. Okay, those are decent instructions. It's a small paragraph, but you'll notice that your GPT never performs quite like it should. And I've realized the best way to make your custom GPT work like you want it to is to provide it multiple steps. It's really good at following steps. You tell it, step one, do this, step two, do this. But oftentimes it's tough to, you know, write exactly what you want. So I've been doing a unique way of creating these custom GPTs. Let's go do this now. Now I'm going to go to regular chat GPT4, just the basic one. I'm going to paste this prompt in. And the prompt is, I made a custom AI that generates YouTube metadata content. This will be whatever you're trying to make. I'm going to paste in the full prompt below and I want you to clean it up for me so that it's clearer, more succinct, better for AI to understand and maybe add important steps to the process that I forgot. Okay, what you're doing is you're telling AI to make your jumbled thoughts better for an AI to read. And then I'll just go in and go, let's add quotes here so it knows what I'm talking about. Okay, I wrote step one, the user pastes his entire video transcript. Take that transcript and summarize it in four to five sentences. The summary should be clear, concise, and matter of fact. At the end of the summary, add a line break and write 20 hashtags related to that video's content. Separate each hashtag with just a space. Okay, then I'm telling the AI, move on to step two. Take that summary and write a video title. Okay, let's clean this up a bit. Even though it's not a big deal for spelling mistakes, the AI will fix all that. Now in this step, I tell the AI exactly how I want the title to look. And then I tell it step three, take that video summary and title and write 50 tags related to the video. Maybe we'll change that to 30. Each tag should be separated by a comma. So whatever it is for your GPT, your custom GPT, write out the steps. Think about it. What do you want it to do? Step one, do this. Step two, do that. Step three, do this. And you can have jumbled thoughts. Just give it an idea of what you want. 
send that in and watch GPT-4 go to work. It's gonna revise your prompt for you. And this is beautiful, look at this, step one. It's telling me what the step is, what it needs, an input, an action, and the output. Step two, video title creation, input, action, example of how I want the title to look, a note for the AI. Look how much clearer this output is compared to my initial input, right? And all I have to do is copy this, go back to my custom GPT. I'm gonna scroll up, go to explore. Okay, this is the untitled one that we were working on. Let's go to configure and paste this into the instructions. There we go, it's pasted in. And what I do is I just clean it up a bit so it kind of understands what's going on. There we go, step two and step three. Okay, we have a clear and concise prompt for the AI. You know, I don't need these. And you know, I want them to start with, start by pasting in a video transcript. Okay, and now we can test it. Let's go to another video. You know, AI is your friend. Use it to help you with your prompt. You don't have to think of a prompt by yourself. Okay, let's go to this one, huge news out of OpenAI. Go to the subtitles. We're gonna copy this. This is our video transcript and let's test this out. Paste this in and it's gonna follow all of the steps. All right, there's our summary. It's gonna add some hashtags. Step two is gonna create a video title. Look at this, going through all the steps. Step three, it's gonna create the tags. Look how simple and clean this is. All because I used AI to help me clear up my prompt. So yeah, keep experimenting. Let's see some of your custom GPTs that you made. You know, the sky's the limit, especially when you have AI to help. Oh, well, before I go, let's try one more thing. Let's go back to this. I'm gonna ask it, what are some other features that this AI can have so that's even better? I'm gonna use chat GPT to give me ideas for my custom GPT. Look at this, keyword optimization, sentiment analysis, custom thumbnail generator. And, you know, I created a custom GPT specifically for that, but you know, I could always add that in and make it an entire YouTube custom GPT that does everything for you. Audience targeting, competitor analysis, SEO score. And all I'd have to do is take this, let's say the SEO score, copy this. Let's go back to this GPT, go to configure, and we're gonna add it. Step four, SEO score, create a scoring system that evaluates the SEO effectiveness of the generated metadata offering suggestions for improvement. Thanks for watching everybody, peace.